Joel asked, is there a really good speed tricks tutorial for WebStorm? I don't think there is, so let's make one. Uh, these are just some of the tricks off the top of my head that I can think of. The first one is if you're auto-completing like a source path, you hit uh, control space, you can see all of the files inside of that path. But what if you want to find all of the JavaScript files across your entire project? If you hit control space again, or just keep holding down control and double tap space, you can see that all of the files that are JavaScript that kind of belong in that uh, inside of that source attribute uh, are shown show up there. So if I hit enter now, it'll auto complete that entire path all the way up to uh, that lamp JavaScript file. So that's a that's a huge time saver. If you hit uh, so holding out control, space, 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 that'll actually bring up every single type of file. Um, you saw some HTML files and get, get attribute files and whatnot. So you could autocomplete any sort of file if, you, if you're in some sort of special scenario uh, for whatever reason. Uh, so that's tip number one for autocomplete. Uh, another tip a lot of people don't know about is, um, so control space invokes autocomplete. There's no suggestions here. But if there's just some sort of word or some word that I want to autocomplete, so say for example, I don't want to type out boilerplate um, all the way and I want to autocomplete it here, there is word completion. So if I type B O I and then Alt uh, forward slash, uh, that'll start uh, cycling through. It's called a cyclic word expansion or something, cycling through all the words inside of your current document. A lot of text editors. Um, autocomplete this this same way. So so Google APIs is up here. Um, if I type G and then Alt slash, it'll bring up Google APIs, Google, GT, GA, basically any word that starts with a G. Um, and the more of it you type, so if you type Goo, it'll just do Google and Google APIs. The more of it you type, um, the, the more it will give you. Uh, that helps a lot in and markup documents like, uh, or sorry, markdown documents where there's no real autocomplete, but there may be some long words you just want to uh, have it autocomplete for you. Uh, so that's uh, a couple autocomplete tricks. Uh, let's do some uh, quick file jumping speed tricks. So you can see we're in their index HTML, and I know that I have a bunch of files linked inside of here, um, and I don't want to look through the entire document to know which ones are linked to it or the, what the related files are. So if I hit Alt Home and jump up to the navigation bar or Alt 1, um, any way to get this file selected or highlighted, and then you hit Control Alt Home. Um, this is the go to related files action. And it'll show you all the files that are linked to that uh, file that you're using. So say for example, uh, main.js. So I'll navigate there. And uh, kind of similarly, if I do the same thing, and instead of um, main.js doesn't know that index.html is a related file, but it knows that it's being used. So if you do control alt F7 here, um, that'll do the uh, show usages. And since this was the only usage, it'll jump back to where it is and bring the cursor right back to where that was. So if you're navigating around files, um, index or uh, HTML files that have linked uh, whatever style sheets, uh, JavaScript files, Again, that's uh, Control Alt Home for go to related files. And you can uh, even speed search through this list. And then um, Alt Home to get up to that menu. And Control Alt 7 will take you right back to uh, wherever that file is being used. And if that CSS was being used in multiple places, it would bring up a list instead of just jumping to it. Uh, some, some other tricks. If you use the uh, go to file uh, pop up, so say we're, we want to find uh, like the component uh, JSON file, um, you can see that uh, we have one for HTML5 and one for required JS. Uh, a lot of people don't know that if you just type uh, some part of some directory, like ht for HTML5, and then I do a slash and then component. That'll limit my search to only things uh, that have a directory with HT in it. So this HTML5 boilerplate, and then uh, COM will jump to that component where I can find all of the JavaScript files or JavaScript and JSON because it does middle matching here um, of .js. 
it'll find all of those files that are in an HTML5 uh, or HTML5 boiler, boilerplate directory. Same thing if I type require, um, this will change it and limit it to files that are in a required directory. And you can put multiple uh, paths in here. So if I did um, another slash and then REL for relative, it should only show the ones with relative and then OUT, uh, only the files that are in uh, in that outside. Now this only works in the enter file or the, the go to file pop-up, which is control shift N. It doesn't work in the go to class one uh, because they're not based on directories the same way. Um, and that's that's kind of a cool trick to limit your searches if you have uh, larger directory structures and you know more precisely what you want to jump to. Um, and that's about it for now. I There are plenty of other tricks. I'm sure I'll think of more and do more videos, but uh, those are some speed tricks for today.